When we first meet Tony Stark, we see that he is a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. So that guy must have it all figured out, right? His life must be so amazing and fulfilling. He's the CEO of his own very successful company. He can get all the girls, drive all the sports cars, live in a huge mansion. What more could you dream of? Well, it turns out you're a man who has everything. So what changed? What actually gave Tony Stark's life meaning and gave him the drive to become more than he could have ever imagined? He found his purpose. Let's take a closer look at how purpose changed or in a sense also saved Tony Stark's life and how it can also change ours. I just finally know what I have to do. And I know in my heart that it's right. But first, let's take a step back. I have the feeling that purpose is being talked about so much nowadays that some people almost shy away from the concept of defining a purpose for their life. Almost as if everybody needs to have the purpose to change the world, and if you don't, you're lazy and useless. I shouldn't be alive. Unless it was for a reason. What do we actually mean when we talk about purpose? Well, I'll tell you what I mean. For me, purpose refers to the sense of meaning or direction that an individual finds in his life. It's about what motivates you and what gives your life significance. It can be connected to your values, goals, aspirations, and passions. And I'm not talking about the purpose of life in general, as in why does life exist in the first place. I'm talking about the purpose of each and every one watching this video. As hard and stressful it can be to figure out our purpose, we should consider ourselves lucky. Do you think a dog thinks a lot about the purpose of his life? Do you think people spending every day fighting for survival think a lot about the purpose of their life? We have the luxury and the burden of being able to ask ourselves this question. In these types of videos, I typically like to focus on a quote from a movie. In this case, the quote that basically marks the beginning of Tony Stark focusing on his purpose is this one. Don't waste it. Don't waste your life. Although Jensen doesn't specifically mention purpose, at the quote's core lies the same meaning. Tony Stark is a genius, and with great intelligence, comes great responsibility. Wait, that's not how that quote goes, right? Anyway, Tony Stark has the capability of helping a lot of people with his intelligence, so it would be a shame for humanity if he were just to run a weapons manufacturing company for the rest of his life, live the playboy lifestyle, and then die someday, probably alone. But even if you don't take what's better for humanity into account, on a very personal level, we see that this lifestyle isn't fulfilling him. Yes, he's rich, he gets all the girls, wins all the prizes, but he doesn't have a family, as in he doesn't have wife and children, and also both of his parents are dead. He doesn't have many friends, I mean real friends that he can trust, and there is also a lot of negative press around him. And what do you say to your other nickname, the Merchant of Death? That's not bad. In the public, he puts up that playboy facade and acts like he doesn't care, and maybe he also tells himself that he doesn't care. But in moments like these, we see that he does care. Now you could argue that helping other people was his purpose all along because he thinks or at least says that manufacturing advanced weapons for America protects its citizens. But in my opinion the difference is that when he was developing weapons he didn't do that in the pursuit of a purpose. He just did that because he was good at it, people applauded him for it, and it earned money. But he never really cared and was too ignorant to actually ask the question if these weapons were truly helping people. It was only after he saw what his weapons were truly used for, almost died and lost Jensen, that he decided to dedicate his life towards protecting innocent people from evil. With that discovered purpose and gained knowledge in mind, he didn't hesitate to stop weapons manufacturing and became Iron Man. He first uses the Iron Man suit to undo his past mistakes, so he destroys his weapons and helps the people that are being harmed by them. After that, his focus switches to protecting people in general. Through his trials and battles he faces on this path, Tony constantly innovates and improves his suit. This drive to push his limits and become a better hero fuels his sense of purpose. I mean, this guy goes on to invent time travel. That is on such a different level than anything else he could have ever achieved if he wouldn't have dedicated his life towards the purpose of helping others. In today's world, it's so easy to get distracted. Every free minute we have is filled with social media. When we're driving in the car, we listen to podcasts. In the gym, we listen to music. We never really allow ourselves to think. That was also Iron Man's problem. He was so distracted by his lifestyle that he never dared to ask himself the question Who are you? 
And what do you want? And I get it, it's hard and also kind of scary to ask yourself these questions. Because if you find the answer, it could mean that you need to make a lot of changes in your life. In the short term, it's way easier to just continue with our daily life and distract ourselves from possible deeper thoughts. Next problem is that even if you dare to ask yourself these questions, it's not like you instantly find the answer. It can take a long time of regularly asking yourself what your purpose in life is. Now this video focuses on the importance of finding your life's purpose. For actually finding your life's purpose, there are thousands of books on Amazon, so that's maybe a topic for another video. And for all the people that think finding a purpose makes life too stale, who said that you can only have one purpose in life? And who said that your purpose can't change? Iron Man's initial purpose is to undo his past sins. This then develops into protecting people in general, and as he progresses in life, his new additional purpose is to support the next generation of superheroes. I think with a little more mentoring, could be a real asset to the team. If you manage to find your purpose, I think it will unlock a whole new layer of motivation and discipline in you. Because it's hard to do boring or difficult tasks, but if you're no longer doing them for some external reason, but because they are a part of working towards your purpose, it's way easier to endure these short-term challenges. Do you think Tony Stark would have liked to put on a fancy armor and risk his life to fight criminals just so he can pay his rent? Probably not. He manages to endure hardship because it's a part of fulfilling his purpose. By the way, finding your purpose doesn't mean that from now on everything you're going to be doing is perfect. We still make mistakes. Iron Man made several mistakes, the biggest one probably being Ultron, who ended up almost killing everybody, although Tony's idea behind Ultron was to protect everybody. Now I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. If you think finding purpose makes your life too stale and inflexible, or you simply just haven't figured out your purpose yet, then taking the opposite approach is probably valid as well. Opposite meaning that instead of defining your purpose, you define what you definitely don't want to do in life, and then make sure that everything you're doing is getting you as far away from that as possible. Imagine Tony Stark wouldn't be such a genius and hadn't invented the Iron Man suit so quickly. He saw what his current actions were causing, managed to escape in some different way, and then when he's back home, he could have still said, okay, I didn't figure out how to make the Iron Man suit work just yet, I'll figure that out later, but for now, I definitely know that I don't want to keep selling weapons, so let's stop that. Now imagining that, it would have probably been a pretty boring movie, but I hope you understand the point I'm trying to make. The truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs> To summarize, really try to figure out your purpose or purposes in life. Ask yourself what drives you and what you want to have achieved when looking back at your life, because we saw how much more fulfilling and meaningful Tony's life became when he found his purpose. Now I know that's not easy, I'm also still trying to figure out my purpose, so for everybody like me, at least try to figure out what you definitely don't want to do or become in life. That's all I have in store for you today. It would be awesome to hear what your purposes are in life or what you definitely don't want to do. So please share your story in the comments below. And for more movie life lessons, check out this video about the importance of choice.